You're watching Daily Dish. March is National Nutrition Month, and you can make the food you love a little healthier with a few simple swaps. Joining me now for this sponsored interview is award-winning author and nutritionist, Dr. Sylvia Melendez-Klinger. And doctor, let's set the record straight once and for all. Let's talk cooking oils. Which is the healthiest? Yes. So each one of these oils have a purpose. You know, they all have a function in um, these vegetable oils are good for the heart. But let's start with the vegetable oils. I mean, these vegetable oil and the canola oil, they're good for frying, baking, roasting, grilling. OK, so because they can be keen to high temperatures. These are the oils, avocado, olive oil, sesame. They're delicate oils and they're good for when you're marinating, dressing, salad dressings, cold dishes. Great for that. The fats that you need to be really concerned are animal fats, coconut oil. Those fats have saturated fats and they're very damaging for the heart. All right, what are some other little ingredient swaps that we can make in our cooking right now? Right, so many things that you can use to boost the flavor without salt or sugar or too much fat. We have vegetables, they got great antioxidants, more garlic, more um, onions, great for adding flavor and nutrients and not, not salt. Fresh herbs. Uh, cilantro, oregano, uh, we have parsley. Any of those are great also for adding flavor. And of course, our spices. As long as they don't have salt, they're great. Smoked paprika, my favorite. Chili peppers, garlic powder, onion powder, you know, all these. And even if you have a sauce like chimichurri sauce or a mango salsa, they are great. Just make sure that the sodium content is not very high or use, you know, a small amount. So we all have sticker shock at the grocery store right now. What are some of your tips for making all of this healthy eating more affordable? First of all, a little bit of planning will go a long way. Just kind of plan a few meals for the week. Then do an assessment on your pantry and your refrigerator. Make sure you're not buying ingredients you already have. Be very smart about using leftovers. Free some things, reuse them for another with another dish. Those are great. And then you can use things like canned food. We have here uh, rice and beans using canned beans. And did you know that by rinsing the beans, you can take 40% of the sodium. And it's inexpensive, has fiber, and lots of protein and other vitamins and minerals. So these are great ways to actually, you know, save a little bit of money. Um, and oh, and then also seasonal foods. Fruits and vegetables are in season now, and whenever it's something in season, it's gonna be less expensive. Good tips. All right, finally, how can we celebrate National Nutrition Month in our own homes? Yes, you know, the American Heart Association has a great program, Together at the Table. And I think, you know, I challenge this month to do one, one tiny little change. Let's say one teaspoon less of salt, one less teaspoon of sugar, uh, walking after a meal, more water, adding another vegetable to your plate. One little change this month will go a long way and will do your body very good. That's doable. I love that you yes, said that. Yes, just, yes. just one, start there. We can all do that. Where can our viewers go for more information? Yes, uh, heart.org forward slash nutrición y tu familia. It's nutrition and your family. So heart.org forward slash nutrición y tu familia is where you can go for more recipes that are heart healthy and brochures and resources that are in English and Spanish as well. Thank you so much for all of that great information. And thanks to the American Heart Association for sponsoring our interview. Take care.